dear student assalamu alaikum today we will discuss about calculations for preparation of standard solution and making of standard curve now i explain you uh, how we can do different calculations for preparation of copper standard solution for this uh, we need a copper sa copper salt uh, in our case we have copper sulfate penta hydrate first in first step we will calculate its molecular weight uh, by adding uh, atomic weight of uh, different elements uh, in this salt so 63.5 is the atomic weight of copper 32 is the atomic weight of sulfur and 16 is the atomic weight of oxygen because we have four molecules so we multiply with four we have five molecules of water and uh, in water hydrogen atomic weight is one and because we have two molecules so multiply it with two so we uh, have the two value for h2 plus 16 is the atomic weight of oxygen altogether the total molecular weight of copper sulfate pentahydrate is 249.5 gram so 63.5 gram of copper is present in 49.5 gram so 1 gram of copper would be present in 3.92 gram copper sulfate pentahydrate if we divide 2 249.5 with the atomic weight of copper 63 3.5 uh, then we will get this value 3.92 gram copper sulfate so this means that one gram of copper is present in 3.9 gram of copper sulfate pentahydrate if we add 3.92 gram of uh, this salt uh, into one thousand uh, milliliter or one liter flask and make its volume up to the more with distal water so this solution will become of a uh, thousand ppm copper solution so uh, three point 92 gram copper sulfate contain 1 gram copper uh, per liter solution one gram if we convert this 1 gram into a milligram we will multiply with the 1000 so 1 gram will be converted into 1000 milligram copper per liter solution milligram per liter or ppm both are the same expression or the same unit same concentration unit if we expressing on the basis of weight basis then uh, we can write milligram per kg instead of milligram per liter so because we are dealing here with the liquids or the solutions the all expressions are on the volume basis so uh, we'll be writing here milligram per liter so milligram per liter or milligram per kg or ppm all are the same so if we want to to prepare a solution of lesser concentration from the higher uh, concentrated solution we will do its dilution by using this dilution equation c1 v1 equal to c2 v2 c1 is the initial concentration of the solution v1 is the initial volume of the solution C2 is the final concentration that we, we need to prepare. The C2 is the, the volume, that how much the volume of that particular concentration uh, we need to prepare. So for example here, if we want to dilute 1000 ppm solution to, uh, um, uh, if we want to dilute 1000 ppm copper solution, and want to make 100 ppm copper solution for this we because we are uh, we are uh, preparing uh, the lesser uh, concent uh, concentration solution from the higher concentration solution 
so we will prepare it by using c1 equal to c2 for this uh, uh, the c1 is the thousand ppm because it's initial concentration volume how much we volume we need uh, to prepare uh, how much the volume we need uh, from 1000 ppm to prepare 100 ppm copper solution so we need to calculate this because it's unknown c2 is uh, obvious uh, because we want to prepare a 100 ppm so it would be 100 ppm and uh, how much uh, the volume we need of this con particular concentration 100 ppm copper so because we are using the flask uh, here 100 ppm uh, sorry 100 ml flask so we will write the 100 ml here if uh, we are using the 200 ml flask to prepare this 100 ml so definitely we will write 200 and if we want to prepare a 50 ml of 100 ppm then we will write 50 here the volume of the flask we are using for the second concentration other uh, sorry final concentration uh, right now we have 100 ml plus so the final volume we have written here 100 ml so we will put all these value here c1 v1 uh, c1 v1 c2 v2 we want to calculate uh, the value of v1 so it's equal to the 100 100 uh, is the concentration it's the c2 value and v2 is the volume of final concent uh, final volume uh, is actually the flask volume 100 and we will divide with the 1000 we will get 10 ml of the initial volume the 10 ml we 10 ml we need from this 1000 ppm copper solution we will transfer it to the 100 ml flask and make its volume up to the more this will be of 100 ppm copper solution similarly we can prepare the 10 ppm solution from the 100 we will do the same procedure as we have done while preparing 100 ppm copper from the 1000 ppm for 10 ppm definitely uh, we because we are preparing it from the 100 ppm in this case the 100 ppm would be the initial concentration and of course uh, we don't know the volume so we will calculate the c2 final concentration is uh, will be 10 ppm and the flask or the volume of 10 ppm we want to prepare so here we have a 100 ppm flask so we will write 100 ml as a final volume if we are using the 200 ml flask then we may write here 200 and if we are using 50 ml flask we may write here 50 ml so depending upon um, the volumetric flask or the volume uh, we need for particular concentration so uh, similarly if further we want to prepare uh, a series of solution of lesser concentration uh, we can easily prepare uh, by using this dilution equation from this 10 ppm so this uh, mm, uh, if now we want to dilute uh, from 10 ppm to 0.4 ppm we will take 2 ml from this uh, 100 ml flask uh, containing 10 ml copper solution if we add in the 50 now the flask here for these series of strand, copper standard solution we are using a 50 ml flask so our v2 would be 50 ml and c2 
is a 0.4 ppm. C1 would be 10 ppm and volume uh, V1 is 2 ml which we, cal which, uh, which we calculated through C1 V1 equal to C2 V2 equation through dilution equation. So far, uh, if we want to prepare 0.4 ppm copper solution, we will take 2 ml uh, from this 10 ppm flask. Uh, if, we, if we want to prepare 0.6 ppm copper solution, we will take 3 ml. And for 4 ml, uh, we will take uh, for 8.5 ppm, we will take 4 ml for 1 ppm. Uh, we will take 5 ml and for 1.2 ppm copper we will take 6 ml from 10 ppm flask and make its volume up to the mark uh, which is a 50 ml so after uh, preparing these uh, all uh, uh, series of uh, copper standard solution we will run these series of copper standard solution on the atomic absorption spectrophotometer the sp atomic absorption spectrophotometer will give us uh, a reading in absorbance uh, in next now i will demonstrate you how we can draw a standard curve or calibration curve by drawing linear graph between copper and absorbance we will click on the insert then on the scattered graph and then we write click on this and then we will add a trend line and we will click on the linear so because then uh, we click on the display equation or chart or R square values so here we go we we have now created a graph between the copper concentration which, which is on the x-axis and the absorbance is on the y-axis so the linear graph now has been created and uh, we have found this uh, the regression equation the linear, linear regression equation um, from this graph we can label this uh, x-axis on the x-axis uh, we can label it as a copper concentration in ppm on the y-axis we will write absorbance so this linear graph is between the absorbance and the copper concentration in ppm from this graph uh, we have created uh, this equation which is called linear regression equation y equal to 0.1957 x minus 0.0021 why is the the value of the uh, this actually indicates the absorbance x indicates the here yeah, represent the copper concentration in ppm from standard curve we can easily calculate uh, the unknown concentration of particular sample because in our case uh, the unknown concentration in our sample soil sample one and soil sample two we don't know how much or the what is the concentration of the copper in these two samples so we can find out uh, the concentration of copper through this standard curve or through this uh, equation or the regression equation so to find out the value of unknown concentration in the first soil sample so because we need to uh, calculate the concentration so we will write the x 
from this equation uh, rearrange it and uh, y plus 0 0.0021 and uh, then divide it with the 0 0.1957 now the 0 0.21 is and we will write here in, in place of y because y represents the absorbance so these absorbance read, readings uh, we collected from the atomic absorption or the instrument so we will divide it uh, with 0 0.19 uh, 0 0.1957 and here we go uh, we have found 0 0.08 ppm copper concentration in first soil sample similarly we will we'll do the same procedure for the second soil sample uh, we will add 0 0.13 uh, instead of y here because y represent the absorbance reading plus uh, 0.0021 which we got from the uh, regression equation and then divide it with this value 0 0.195 which is also we have obtained from the regression equation by putting all uh, these value in this equation similarly we will be able to find uh, the concentration for the second soil sample so first soil sample contains 1.08 ppm copper and the second, uh, second sample through this equation we will get uh, the following value so these absorbance readings uh, uh, in my previous video demonstration I have I have already demonstrated you how we can prepare these series of copper uh, standard solution these solution zero is the blank where there was no copper uh, content in that pure distal water and these are the series of the copper standard non standard solution which we prepared so the, we uh, run these uh, known concentrate and non standard solution on the instrument and against each uh, standard we got the absorbance reading from this instrument atomic absorption which is attached with this uh, display or the computer and we can find the absorbance reading on this computer display so similarly uh, we run the sample 1 filtrate or sample 2 filtrate uh, respectively on the atomic absorption and uh, atomic absorption gave us the reading of reading of the absorbance so uh, through this standard curve uh, we are able to find out the concentration the unknown concentration of the copper which is now 1.08 ppm for the soil sample 1 and 0 0.68 ppm copper for soil sample 2 in this slide uh, i have given you a two exercise i hope you will do it uh, and submit me the assignment as soon as possible so these uh, exercise will help you how to prepare uh, a standard or a standard solution and the stock solution of uh, other elements like zinc cobalt so by doing this exercise you will be able to understand uh, more clearly how we can prepare a series of stock solution for respective elements thank you very much for today's lecture i hope you understand it